The morning office for October 24th. Love the Lord, all you who worship Him. For the Lord protects the faithful, but repays to fool those who act haughtily. O Lord, I call to you, my rock. Do not be deaf to my cry, lest if you do not hear me, I become like those who go down to the pit. Your way, O God, is holy. Who is as great as our God? Protect my life and deliver me. Let me not be put to shame, for I have trusted in you. The morning reading is read from Luke's Gospel, chapter 17, verses 20 through 21. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Asked by a Pharisee when the kingdom of God was to come, he gave him this answer. The coming of the kingdom of God does not admit of observation, and there will be no one to say, look, here it is, or look, there it is. For look, the kingdom of God is within you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Protect my life and deliver me. Let me not be put to shame, for I have trusted in you. Morning Psalm is read from Psalms chapter 57, verses 1 through 3. Be merciful to me, O God, be merciful, for I have taken refuge in you. In the shadow of your wings will I take refuge until this time of trouble has gone by. I will call upon the Most High God, the God who maintains my cause. He will send from heaven and save me. He will confound those who trample upon me. God will send forth his love and his faithfulness. Protect my life and deliver me. Let me not be put to shame, for I have trusted in you. In the evening, in the morning, and at noonday, I will lift up my voice, and it will come to you, and you will hear my voice. Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, increase in me the gifts of faith, hope, and charity, and that I may obtain what you promise. Make me love what you command. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Lord God, Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought me in safety to this new day. Preserve me with your mighty power, that I may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity. And in all I do, direct me to the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ, my Lord. Amen.